Hey, how you going? My name's Ian and I'm one of the people who has the amazing opportunity to talk to our kids and families about Jesus each and every week at Ingerdean and Heathcote Anglican Church. And you might have seen it in the news in the last couple of days that people are worrying all around the world about what's going on at the, at the moment because some people are feeling really sick. They feel as though perhaps God's out of control and everything is going crazy. Now I want to take a couple of minutes to remind us that God is still in control and we should trust him in absolutely everything because everything is in his hands. Now you see, God knows what's best for us and he, goes, he knows what's going to happen in the future, but sometimes we don't know that. And so because we don't know that, we should trust him more and trust that he actually works for the good of all people who love him. Now let me explain this in a different way. Now I was, I was feeling a little bit hungry a short time ago, so I went to the cupboard to get some things to eat. And I was feeling a little bit peckish, so I thought, I know, where is it? I'll get myself some flour. I thought, oh, a little bit of flour, that'll certainly make me feel kind of happier and able to, you know, not have as bad a tummy. Ugh. Unfortunately, just eating flour wasn't very good. It wasn't one of those nice things to eat. So I thought, well, I know what I'll do. I'll get some, I'll get some hundreds and thousands. They're nice, I'll have some of them. But you see, hundreds and thousands aren't nice by themselves too. I thought, no, you know what I'll get? I like eggs, I'll get an egg. Oh, there it is with some shell too. You know what, egg wasn't good by itself too. That was really, really yucky, but I thought, oh, you know what the nicest thing of all this? Sugar. Sugar is always nice and it's always lovely. So I thought, oh, I'll have some sugar too. <laughs> you see, sugar wasn't nice by itself too. What, all these things, they couldn't satisfy my hunger, they weren't great. They were all really bad and yuck by themselves. You see, sometimes we look at things and we get fixed on all the individual things that are going on in our lives, but we don't see the bigger picture about what's going on. Now, at the moment, we might be a little bit fixed on what the virus is happening in this world, and that might be a bit yuck at the moment. But you see, when I was thinking I was hungry, I was so hungry that I failed to see that all of these different things that I had around me, they weren't supposed to be nice in and of themselves, but they were actually ingredients for something really good. The ingredients actually for something that's really great, a donut. And you know what? With the sprinkles and the icing and the, mmm, really, really yummy. You see? There's a verse in Romans chapter 8 that says this, And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who are being called according to his purpose. You see, it might seem like it's a bit hard at the moment, but we need to remember that God is still in control, and he's actually working for good in this world. And he's in control, and he's shown that in Jesus. We need to keep trusting in him. Maybe the good that God is working is that people might come to know that Jesus is in control because they're really, really afraid and they're wondering what the future holds. Perhaps you might actually be able to talk to them about Jesus and how great it is to be able to trust that he died for us. Because you see, when we're worried, we know that Jesus has the future in his hands and those who trust in Jesus know that everything will be okay because he is in control of all of history. So I hope you can have a great afternoon. I'm gonna have a great afternoon finishing my donut. I'll see you later. Mmm, nice.